Folks, welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. It's that time. Balance changes are coming to Clash Royale. They should be launching off on March 13th. As always, Clash Royale is making small tweaks for consistency and quality of life improvements. So in other words, the cards we love will get a nerf, and the cards that we're not using will get a buff. That way everyone gets a fair share, right? Can't complain. It creates... A lot of opportunities to make new decks and keep the game entertaining and fun and most importantly competitive so the first buff is going to be for the executioner so the executioner's exit radius is going up 10 percent uh this is to offset the recent nerf which um you know the executioner did lose some of his momentum and like they state here we're returning some of his former glory his original lane control power to compensate for the upcoming bug fixes so I'm very excited about this, especially in my um, Sparky Tornado deck, where I back it up with their Executioner. This should do really well when we jam up all the enemies in one lane. So this is good. Now, the next card is getting nerfed, is the Log. Bit of a surprise. However, it's a very popular card, so I do understand. The damage is going down by 4% in the range from 11.1 .1 from 11.6. So it's a bit less chip damage to towers and slightly shorter range will help tone down this highly used card. And I tell you, it's still going to be used a lot. The elixir cost is really good and it's great for that crowd control, especially with the goblin gang coming out and everything. Next up is the arrows. The projectile speed is being increased by 33%. So your giant is often dead by the time arrows land on the minion horde attacking him. So we're making them fly a bit quicker seeing as not everyone is a Jedi. Very good joke there. So this makes a good point. I've been a victim of that minion horde just ripping apart my tanks insanely fast. So with this buff here, we will start seeing arrows again. I have been seeing them a little bit more than usual uh, with the Goblin Gang being out and the Goblin Barrel, especially when those two partner together and after the zap was nerfed. However, this here will give you more reason to use it in the higher arenas. Okay, now the clone spell. No longer resets charging troops. Prince, Sparky, etc. This is a nice change. There's been plenty of times where I've tried to clone the Prince or the Sparky and the whole charge just reset. And I'm like, what happened? Like, this is not helping me out right now. You just cloned it. It's already like a paper dragon. <laughs> it's going to die fast, and it just lost its spark. So this is nice. So the reasoning for it, this is a nice quality of life improvement for the underused clone spell. Troops affected by a clone will no longer stop charging, be it a charging prince or charging up Sparky. However, the clones themselves will start charging from scratch, as if just deployed. All right, fair enough. Next buff is for the Lumberjack. A lot of love for the Lumberjack lately. The rage duration is going up by 1.5 seconds. That's a long time. And 0.5 seconds per level. So basically, if you had a level 5 Lumberjack, you're talking about 9 seconds of rage. That is crazy. Especially when partnered with those elite barbs. So this changes for consistency with the rage spell, but it also serves as a little boost to the Lumberjack. This is going to be a big boost, I think. I think out of the, all the changes that I'll be reading to you, this is going to be a major one. Upcoming also is a change that, this is more to, for folks to use the card more. The bomb tower, the projectile speed is increasing by 66%. A slight boost to help the bomb tower hit faster moving targets. Don't be surprised if people start using this now to counter Graveyard uh, because we already know the highest offensive power card is the Graveyard. It's been a topic of discussion in a lot of debates, um, especially pointed out by uh, Clash with Ash. You know, a lot of folks think that the Graveyard is a card that requires no skill. I personally disagree, just like Ash. This card here requires a ton of skill because the placement is so crucial in order to really maximize the ability of the graveyard. Yes, you can throw it down and it can save you quickly, 
um, at the end of a match. But if you throw it down at the wrong time or even at the wrong spot, you're going to waste a ton of elixir quickly. So I think the bomb with tower will, will be a good counter for that. Next up is the Electro Wizard. The Electro Wizard no longer permanently stuns. Okay, so what does that mean? This is a fix and clarification of the stun freeze mechanics. All stun freeze effects will now pause the target's attack, causing them to retarget when they resume. Exceptions are Sparky, Infernal Tower, and Infernal Dragon, which will be reset by the stun freeze effects. So essentially, the Electro Wizard will still, you know, recharge um, the Sparky, Infernal Tower, and Infernal Dragon. However, it won't just lock the enemy down. And, and have them like almost frozen in a sense. So I, I guess they needed to do that change. Uh, Electro was a still popular card and it's still mighty powerful. Next up, again, I like this because of my recent Sparky Tornado Executioner deck. Chasing Tornadoes is what it's actually called if you want to check out the video. But Tornado can be placed on top of buildings. Now, quickly, just ease up a bit. It's not what you think. It's not going to be like a tornado ripping a house apart. It's not like that at all. However, the tornado still, it won't do any damage to the building, nor will it pull it, but at least you'll be able to place it on top of them if you wish. So essentially, like if you see a furnace, you can place a tornado on top of it. It will group up everything in the area, plus those little fire spirits when they're coming out. And I mean like right in the instant when they're coming out. So that's really good. It also... um allows you to place the card in a much tighter radius so that you can really grab what you're trying to pull into one spot. So this could be interesting. I'm definitely going to try it out myself. So those are the balance changes, folks. Um, if you want to see this page here, you know this is directly from ClashRoyale.com and explains all the balance changes. Uh, it should be coming out next week. And you know I hope you folks get excited, start creating some new decks. I'm going to work on a couple and improve the ones i already made and that's pretty much it so if this is your first time watching me please like and subscribe there's a lot of great content on this channel a lot of clash royale and for my recent partnership with clash royale pedia there's gonna be a ton a ton of more content i'm also gonna be doing some new stuff with rock you media craft so there's gonna be a couple more mobile games i'm gonna be starting to play as well all right and for my returning subs thanks always guys you rock peace out